guys and ghouls, so today we're doing a spooky cooking baking Ooh. video. So this is Evie, she's got her matching Joanna Parker mug, although hers, sorry I've got the hiccups, hers is a kitten obviously and I've got my pumpkin man. So today what we thought we would make, some haunted rocky roads. <laughs> roads. <laughs> So I am actually horrendous at cooking, however Evie is the ultimate makeup artist and baker so we go to her for all of our beauty and cooking needs. I don't know about that but okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so I went to Sainsbury's which is a supermarket in the UK um, and it's like one of my top supermarkets for shopping in and we got our ingredients so we thought we'd just show you the ingredients first and then we're gonna go on downstairs and Evie's gonna show us how to cook them and then you can cook along with her. Right, our first ingredient in Rocky Road is chocolate. Yes! So we needed how many grams? Well, you needed 200 grams, which is one of these bars. But uh, me and Lizzie love chocolate, so we're gonna put two in. I recommend you put two in. So we just want our extra chocolatey. Uh, you also need some digestives. Let's see up. Um, again, we got 250 grams. Is that how many we need? We need 200 grams. But we're gonna do an extra 50. Yeah, we're just, we're just making ours extra special because yeah. it's Halloween-y. And we need some butter. We just got just country life, but unsalted. Any, 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 any unsalted butter is fine. Uh, my personal favorite, candy corns. So this is the candy corn autumn mix. So it has like the regular candy corns and also the pumpkin candy corns in. These were a really kind These were um, a gift from America from a lady called Julie on Instagram. So thank you very much for sending those. But we will be including those within our Haunted Rocky Road. And of course, you can't have Rocky Road without marshmallows. Yeah. So we're going to be putting in lots of marshmallows. You need about 150 grams, but I'll go through everything again when we're downstairs. Okay, I just ripped this packet. So I'm just sitting on candy corn, which is fantastic. <laughs> right. You also need golden syrup Woo just a little bit of golden syrup just helps everything like just stick together splash. and then we've picked some things out for decorating it to make it spooky. these are essential to ensure that your rocky roads come out haunted otherwise they just won't they need so, to be spectacular i got these from sainsbury's if any of you are watching my daily vlogs you would have seen the excitement i felt when i found these so these are by a brand called haunted house there are 12 sugar decorations i've got pumpkins in there some skulls evie's favorite um some frankensteins and of course hashtag year of the ghost there are some ghosties and i think these cost £2.50 or £1.50 so they're relatively cheap and they were just in like the baking baking section baking section and then we've also got some of these I believe these were sent by Kristen so thank you very much Kristen these are like little sugary decorations we've got some ghosts hashtag year of the ghost <laughs> we've got some <laughs> pumpkins. pumpkins there you go pumpkins and we've got some spiders. <laughs> I also had some of these left over from Asda. So these are pumpkin and black cat, like sugar ones. They're nowhere as nice as the ones that Kristen sent, but these are the kind of stuff you can get in the UK. So you can just pick these up in a supermarket if you're not lucky enough to have the ones we have from Kristen. But if you're in America, then <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> and then and finally, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm taking the lead, I'm like, this is my time! <laughs> you do it, I'll right. leave it to you. And then of course, to put it all in, we need a tin. Yes. So any type of brownie tin, this is just one. We found, we found in, in the, the oven. House. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So this, this is fine, like that depth, you can't really see, like, it's pretty good. Other ingredients which you could include is trap spirits, maybe some frog legs, bat wings. Yeah, sounds good. Maybe eyeballs if you can get hold of any. Mm. Do you think? Anything else that could spruce it up? Squash spiders, always good. Um, and yeah, just candy corns in general. Just all the candy corns. So, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, getting close. Okay. So now we've given you the top ingredients that you'll need for making these haunted rocky roads. Grab yourself a cup of tea. 
get down to the kitchen and let's start baking. You will not need an oven for this, which is always handy. Just you, a fridge. Yeah, just a fridge and... Um, oh, and you need some icing sugar at the end to dust it off, but we didn't bring that up. You had one job, Evie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we'll meet you down in the haunted kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right, go we'll, again. Okay, well, we'll meet you in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Bye! Okay, so we're gonna start with sandwich bags. What do we need to do, Evie? We need to split this digestive bag into two. Mmm, it seems like someone's already eaten some of those biscuits, Evie. <laughs> <laughs> Me, never. Right, so you can have them, and I'll have these, and we need to just place them in the sandwich bag. Oh, I can do that. Maybe seal the sandwich bag up. Okay. And then, this is the fun part because you just literally, I'm gonna use my skull mug and you just crush it. Okay, I'm gonna have a go. And then like give it a little flip, crush, but you, am I doing it right? Yeah, you're doing it right. You can have a mixture of sizes, so some smaller bits and some bigger chunks. So you get like a little bit of bite when you go in. Yes. So we've done ours now. Okay, so is that literally, is much as crushing as we need to do. Biscuits. Fantastic. Done. Okay, we'll put them with Mr. Ghost. He can look after them. Now we have the chocolate. Yes. My favorite. So we need to break this up into a microwavable bowl. Okay, also, by the way, I don't know if we said it, but it is actually cooking chocolate. Apparently, much to my disgust, you cannot use dairy milk chocolate. It has to be cooking chocolate. You, if you use dairy milk, um, then it's just a higher chance it's gonna burn. Mm, whatever. So it's just a bit more difficult. We still went for milk chocolate, but you can obviously do this with white chocolate or dark chocolate, or a mixture of all three. So I've got my chocolate. What do I need? We need a microwave bubble, please, Lily. Okay, so we've got this one, and then we're gonna break up the chocolate into the bubble. Are we going for squares or yeah, I'm gonna go into squares? God, this chocolate is hard to break. I'm gonna go in twos because mine's not breaking into ones already. Right, now we're gonna put this in the microwave, but first you must capture a spirit. So just give me a second to quickly find one from the house. What would be funny if you got like gin? <laughs> Dead. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Now we need to microwave it, but don't microwave it for a long period of time, like 20 second or 10 second bursts really? maximum. Okay, and then do we need to mix it in between? Yeah, so you two, pick, at first I put it in for 20. I do a yeah. couple at 20, because we've got quite a lot of chocolate, because me and Lizzie love chocolate. Yeah. And then once it starts to melt, do it for 10 seconds, because you don't want it to burn. Cool. Okay, so the chocolate is in there. Um, Evie is just cutting up the butter into small squares. So I'm gonna put this on for 20 seconds, did you say? Yeah, to start with. Cook. Okay, so do we need to take this out now? Yeah, we take it out and then give it a stir. Not done much. Probably wouldn't have done that much, to be honest. Mm. Cause we've got loads of chocolate in here. Looks like you're stirring fully solid chocolate. So basically what you do from now on is just keep putting it as 20 seconds. Every 20 seconds, give it a little stir, put it in for another 20 seconds. You probably need to do this, what, like 10 times maybe? Yeah. Um, until it is nice and molten, you do not want to overcook it. So you can see now it's just starting to melt. Right, back in it goes. Another 20 seconds. So you can see now it's really starting to melt. So you can see how quickly that 20 seconds has changed it. So what I'm gonna actually do is add in a couple of box blocks of butter. Okay. So we need 135 grams in total. But I'm just gonna gradually add it in. Okay. So it's over there cut in tiny little pieces. So you just added a couple of those in. And then on we go again, 20 Another seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> But make sure to stir like in between. So even if you see the butter, just keep stirring because the butter will just melt in with the chocolate. I guess the chocolate's already quite hot, so. Yeah. So basically your aim here <coughs> with this microwave stage is to completely melt all of the chocolate and gradually add the butter until the butter is pretty much fully melted as well. And from Evie's expert skills, um, I guess the main piece of advice would be to just keep on stirring. Don't overcook the chocolate. 
Oh, yeah. And don't That's overcook the, the chocolate. Oops. <laughs> So what do we need to do now? We are going to transfer the chocolate into a bowl so we can yes. start mixing our ingredients. Oh, okay. So while you do that, shall I go get the marshmallows? Yes, please. So we need about 100 grams of these marshmallows. So I'm gonna put about half the bag in since there's 180 in there. Maybe just over half. Shall I just pour them straight in? Yep. Add the eyeballs. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And then we need to add in our digestives that we crushed earlier. Here's one I made earlier. Now add one of the bags first. Oops. And then mix it in just to get the process going. That's looking good. It's already looking quite rocky roady. It's getting rocky roady. And then I'm just gonna add the rest of the biscuits in. Gonna leave a couple spare. <laughs> Would you say that's probably about enough biscuits in there then? Um, no, there's still quite a bit of chocolate to be fair. So basically you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing until those biscuits and those marshmallows and the eyeballs and the spirits are all covered in chocolate. So you can't really see them, it just looks like a big chocolatey mass. So that's our full amount of butter, our full amount of chocolate, our full amount of biscuits, and our full amount of little, 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 full amount of marshmallows. Um, so do we need what do we need now? The golden syrup. Yeah, we're adding some golden syrup. You need about four tablespoons, but we're just gonna do it by eye because we're She's, living life on the edge. And Evie is a profesh. Lovely. Definitely the right amount. <laughs> Then we're mixing that in, and is that it, or do we need to add some spooky sprinkles in now? We can add some spooky sprinkles in. You find when you add the golden syrup, it becomes slightly tougher, but that's just the ingredients all binding together. I just caught these spiders from outdoors, so I'm just gonna add a few of those in. <gasps> is that a ghost? <laughs> yes, it's a ghost going in. In fact, I'm gonna add a few ghosts in there, just for good luck. You're the ghost. Finally, the key ingredient to Halloween, pumpkins. Is that okay? And then we give it a stir. So Evie's basically taken this tin and just put some tin foil in the bottom, regular old tin foil. And now, are you just gonna pat pour, it in there? Pour this in. I'm just gonna pour I'm it in. just gonna put it in and then squish it down with my spatula. I haven't even used my spatula yet. Look how spooky it is. I got these from TK Maxx. I am Wear up. <laughs> I got these from. <laughs> I got these from TK Maxx. Where else? God, Dad. <laughs> So now it's ready for the final decorations. So we've got our sugar decorations that we bought from Sainsbury's. Let's put those on. I'm gonna go for the ghosts. I'm gonna do the skulls because they're my fave. So you could kind of do these like portion size squares. Or I guess you could make like a little scene on, on top and then cut it up afterwards. But I think probably portion squares is gonna be the best bet. Actually, I'm gonna go in with a few more of these like little ones. Um, and put them around the ghost so it's like a mummy ghost with all of her baby ghosts. Make sure to put these on now when it's wet. If you put it on after you put it in the fridge, it won't set. As in it won't, they'll fall it, it won't stick, yeah. Okay. You do realise you're putting your Frankensteins on upside down, right? <laughs> <laughs> they do kind of work the other way though. Let's put a few more pumpkins on just for good luck. This is our completed, haunted, Halloween, rocky road. Roads. <laughs> okay, what do we need to do now? We need to put this in the fridge and let it chill. Oh wait, Evie, it's definitely not completed because what are we missing? Candy corns! Right, let's just add some of this autumn mix on. There's also some pumpkins, which can go in the pumpkin patch. I'm gonna put the candy corns around the ghosts. <laughs> Righto, so now that we do actually have our completed, haunted, Halloween, rocky, road, we need to go put it in the fridge. Trick or treat, smell my feet, looking for something good to eat. Jay, it sure is golden here. OK, 
Okay, so it's been an hour later, so we're just gonna check to see if it's set. Okay. Oh, it looks good. Is it set? Yeah, that's set. So it's just like, is it because it's like quite solid? Yeah, it just needs to be quite firm. And then you know. But not too hard so you can cut it still. Cool, so what we need to do now is put some icing sugar on the top and then it'll be ready to cut up. Okay, so now we need to take it out. So we should just kind of pull out, hopefully. There you go. Um, and then you can see that it's all nice and set on the side. And underneath, oh, I can see some pumpkins under there, which is so exciting. Take off the tin foil. And um, there you go. So now it just needs to be dusted with a little bit of icing sugar. So this just goes a sprinkle on the top just to finish it off and then it's ready to cut into little squares and place onto a nice spooky looking plate. So you could either just eat it as a whole massive slab or you know cut it up if you're trying to be civilised. I love the sound oh. of that crunch. It was a good sound. And then we're gonna do ours into bites. So. so good. Where is a ghost rocky road bite? So here is what it looks like now it's finished. So we're gonna dish it out and have some for pudding and then tell you what it tastes like. Okay, so we finished our Rocky Roads. Cut them up. Yes, we have had a sneaky taste of one and they are so, so good. In fact, I think I'm gonna have some more. So, mm, look. Heaven. So good. Mm. So there you go, a haunted rocky road, perfect for any Halloween party or a Halloween sleepover like we're having tonight. Or just general spooky lifestyles. Delicious. Okay. Enjoy baking. That's not how we end it. How do we end it? <laughs> so I will leave all the information as to how to cook this down below along with Evie's Instagram in case you want to go and follow her. So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you enjoy the shade and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!